My name is Dr. Bosa Sayas. Today, 7th June 2019, we are going to look at colligative properties. C. Lowering of vapor pressure. The vapor pressure of a liquid at a given temperature is the pressure exerted by its vapor when it is in equilibrium with a liquid. The vapor pressure of a liquid at a given temperature is the pressure exerted by its vapor when it is in equilibrium with a liquid. When a non-volatile solute is dissolved in a solvent, when a non-volatile solute is dissolved in a solvent, the vapor pressure of the solution is lower than the vapor pressure of the solvent. The difference in the vapor pressures is the proportion to the mass of a solute dissolved. So the more mass of a solute is dissolved in a given mass of a solvent, the lower the vapor pressure of the solution. So the difference becomes bigger as the mass of the solute dissolved becomes bigger. So we are saying that the vapor pressure of the solvent minus the vapor pressure of the solution given by dP is proportion to the mass of the solute dissolved. Or the relative lowering of the pressure of a solvent is proportion to the modulus of a solute given by P minus P dash over P. We have already seen that P, the vapor pressure of the solvent, then P, the vapor pressure of the solute. So P minus P not over P will be called the molar fraction of a solute and the molar fraction of a solute is equal to the molars of a solute over the sum of the molars of a solute plus the molars of a solvent. M1 is equal to moles of a solute equal to M1 over MR1 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 is equal to molecular mass molecular mass of solute then M2 is equal to moles of solvent which is equal to M2 over MR2 where MR2 is the molecular mass M R2 is equal to RFM of a solvent. A solvent. So now we can say that P minus P dash over P will be equal to M1 over MR1 over M1 over MR1 plus M2 over MR MR2. For the other solution, M1 over MR1 is negligible negative gibo compared compared to m2 over mr2 so the moles of a solute are negligible compared to the moles of a solvent so we can say that p minus p over p now will be equal to m1 
over m r1 divided by m2 over m r2 which will be equal to m1 times m r2 over m r over m r1 times m2 so we can use this expression to determine the molecular mass of a solute the Science Foundation College in Namavu kuwe jinja Ngo ingila kilomite mm. So minuli ya dene boarding Ili yaba wala naba lenzi Kuolevo tusomisa arts ni sciences Ate erevo tusomisa sciences zoka Umwana mretu ku The Science Foundation College Fetu singo kusomisa sciences Okumanya visinga o Kwa kuzira musambu tano satu Chinana Abili musambu Zero mwenda The Science Foundation College Best on sciences And best for sciences Example 1 The evaporation of water at 50 degrees is 12,333 particles at the same temperature the evaporation of a solution is containing 9.14 grams of urea in 150 grams of water has a evaporation of 12,160 particles find the molecular mass of urea. So you can see that from P minus P over P is equal to M1 over MR1 divided by M2 over MR2. We can see that the upper pressure which is the one two fili fili evaporation of water minus the evaporation of the solution which is one two one zero six over evaporation of water which is the one two fili 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 look at the mass of a solution which is the nine point one four over molecular mass of urea one molecular mass of urea divided by mass of water which is 150 over molecular mass over molecular mass of water which is 18. Then when you calculate you find that MR is equal to 60. Example 2, a solvent Y, molecular mass 62 has a vapor pressure of 10 to the power 4 newton is per meter at 298k 23.3 grams of a non-volatile solute of molecular mass 270 was added to 100 grams of Y at 298k Calculate the evaporation of the solution. Example 2, a solvent of molecular mass 62 has a evaporation of 10 to power 4 newtons per meter at 298K. 23.3 grams of a non volatile solute of molecular mass 270 was added to 100 grams of Y at 298K. Calculate the evaporation of solution. Then you would say that P minus P dash over P is equal to moles over solute over moles of a solvent. P is equal to evaporation of solvent then P dash is the vapor pressure of solution of solution then you would say that 10 to power 4 newton is per meter minus the vapor pressure P over 10 to power 4 newton is per meter 
will give us the moles of a solute which is 23.3 over molecular mass which is 270 divided by the moles of a solvent which is 100 over 62 this is the same as 10,000 minus P dash will be equal to 23.3 over 270 times 62 over 100 times 10,000 which is equal to 5 5 Therefore, P dash is equal to 10,000 is equal to 10,000 minus 5, 3, 5, which is equal to 9, 4, 5, 5 Newton is per meter squared. Therefore, the upper pressure of solution will be 9, 5, 5, Newton is per meter squared. Example 3, the upper pressure of a solution containing 100, containing 100.2 grams of Y in 1,000 grams of water was reduced by 0 0.186 millimeters Hg at 20 degrees. The evaporation of water at 20 degrees is 17.54 millimeters Hg. Calculate the molecular mass of Y. So we can see that from P minus P dash over P is equal to moles over solute over moles of a solvent. It is reduced by, therefore, P minus P will be equal to 0 0.186 over the evaporation of water, which is 17.54, will be equal to the moles over solute, which is 108.2 over molecular mass over solute, MR, divided by moles of a solvent, which is 1,000, 1,000 over molecular mass of a solvent water, which is 18. So you can see that MR is equal to 17.54 times 108.2 times 18 over 1,000 times 0 0.186, which is equal to 184. So the molecular mass of Y is 184 grams. Baby, what I'm fine. Hey,
sono Yeah. 